Hey, what's up? This is Anchor Spreadable here. Sling bags are used quite a lot in tech wear. They're a little bit more of a practical option compared to a side bag or a shotter bag if you're a road man. They sit closer to the body, you've got more even weighting, and particularly in cases where there's a stabilizer strap, they're a little bit more, well, stable as well. So particularly good if you're living an active lifestyle or you're cycling around, or you just wanna look cool and have some extra straps going on on your outfit. At the same time, they're generally smaller and less cumbersome than a messenger bag would be, so for carrying a small to medium amount of stuff around with you, they can be a pretty good option. I've got three different ones that are gonna be featured in this video, and then I'll go over a whole bunch of other options as well which you could look at. First up is the Patagonia Atom Sling. This is the first bag of this kind that I picked up, it was over a year ago now, and it's still one of my favourites. It's a nice size, it's just enough to carry a few bits in, and it's got a really nice teardrop shape to it as well. And on the front, on the strap, not only is it padded, but there's an extra little pocket there as well, so you can keep some change or a very small card holder or something like that. There's a couple of different zipped pockets on the back for organisation, and the main one is split into a couple of different sections and is pretty sizable. And at £35, which is $45 to $50, it's a pretty decently priced option as well, especially considering this is a big brand and it seems to be a pretty well-made bag as well. The version that I have here comes with a three-point harness, a little stabiliser strap. It seems like in newer versions of this bag, unfortunately, they've removed this. So by all means, have a hunt on eBay, see if you can find the older version. But if not, I think the bag is pretty much identical apart from the lack of that extra strap. I did a full video on this back when I bought it, so if you want to see a bit more on this bag, I'll put a link down there in the description to that one. Next up is the runner bag from Alpha Matif. This one they sent alongside the belt that I included a few videos back, and the size is really the best part about this one because it's so much smaller than pretty much any other bag here. You want something that's going to keep a sleek look, not stick out too much, you don't want to carry too much stuff. Something like this is going to be perfect. It also has a very unique shape, it's got that very angular kind of design to it, whereas a lot of the bags you'll see in this video either have a teardrop shape or they're kind of rounded, so that makes it a very unique option. I also like that they've included a cobra buckle on the strap, which from an aesthetic standpoint, I think it looks pretty cool. The strap does seem a little bit limited in that the way that it's made, I can't quite get it to go as tight as I would like, so it doesn't sit super close to the body, which I think would look better. There is some webbing on the front, which looks quite good and makes the bag a bit more interesting, although in reality, you're not gonna want to attach anything that's more than the little key holder that they've provided. That is quite useful though, so you can attach your keys to that and then you can just unvelcro it whenever you want to use it. The theme of easy access continues with a little pocket on the back that's unzipped, so you can very quickly reach in there um, where no one can see and just grab something that you need. At $100, this is perhaps a little expensive relative to its size. However, the styling here is very unique. It's unusually sleek, I think. And the Cobra buckle as well helps to go some way towards explaining that cost because getting that hardware can be pretty expensive and it is a legit Austrialpin Cobra buckle. The third option here I've not had for that long, but this one's from Sacra. They contacted me over Instagram. I'd not heard of them before, but they come in with some pretty cheap bags. This one is $40 from memory, including shipping. They do have a few different models. I went for this fairly large one. It has a pretty decent storage capacity and the straps at the bottom can be slackened off so you can expand that a little bit. That does make it perhaps look a little bit shapeless compared to some of the other bags on this list, but I think that could be balanced out with some bigger and more heavily layered outfits. I also went for this slightly unusual red color just because I think it would be quite interesting to mix up the traditional all black outfits with some nice little pops of color there. Or even integrate into some more tactical military inspired streetwear stuff. I think that could work pretty well as well. Like the Atom Sling, this has three zipped pockets. One of them is hidden on the back, so you've got some decent organization options. And there's some webbing on the front as well. Although like the Alpha Matif one, I wouldn't really attach anything too big but you can get some little method of carrying your keys or something like that. Some of the stuff on the Instagram is a little bit too heavily branded for my taste, but they do have some things like this bag here, which don't bother with that, and I think those are the ones to go for. And at $40, including shipping for this, especially if you went for a more standard black version, you can't go too far wrong. So those are the ones in my wardrobe currently. However, there's some other really cool options out there. One of those is from Gorilla Group. This is probably my favorite bag on this list. I think it looks really cool. It's got that very nice slouchy kind of informal shape to it. It's very form hugging and looks very different to anything else out there. And you'll see that there's two zips on this as well. So you've got a little easy access bit at the front and then a bigger storage capacity area at the back. 
Often this kind of bag can look quite practical or military inspired or utilitarian even, but this one totally breaks the mold. It has a very dystopian, I think, look about it and can work not necessarily just in techwear fits, but other kinds of drapey, slouchy, oversized kind of clothing as well. You can get both black and green ones currently, and there's a few more colors, I think, coming for FW18, so keep an eye out for those. They are very expensive, unfortunately. These are a good couple of hundred dollars. However, if you're looking for a sling bag, there's nothing more sling-like than this one. The most similar thing shape-wise to the Gorilla Group bag is this Y3 option. This is very much a futuristic sportswear kind of take on that similar curving sling bag shape. I'm not 100% sold on the branding here. I think Y3 are really pushing it to the limit with this one, as they have been doing, unfortunately, in some of their clothing in the last season or two. I would have preferred it had they just had Y3 and the Yoji signature. That would have, that would have just been perfect. But yeah, they're kind of overdoing it. It's still a cool shape though, and I feel like you could wear this in quite a lot of outfits, not just in techwear stuff, but in the more athleisure kind of side as well, to give it a bit more of a futuristic and more of an interesting twist. You could rock this with some very plain looking clothing, and then the Y3 backpack would really stand out and give it that little bit of a cool edge. And if you are into the Y3 brand and Y3 branding, at £139, this is a fairly cheap and very effective way of getting that branding into an outfit. I'm kind of tempted to pick this up, as I say, I do like the shape and all of my current bags are pretty much totally unbranded. So this would be a little bit of a change from that. Recently, there's been a very cool collab between Italian clothing brand Nemen and Japanese luggage and accessories and bag brand Masterpiece. They've come together to create this sling bag, which has a very tactical look about it. Close up, it looks really cool. You can really see that interesting material that they've used there. And there's lots of different storage options and straps and stuff as well. And Nemen have done some quite nice looking jackets to match. The only problem with this bag is the absolutely eye-watering price. On the Nemen website, this is something like 600 euros for a sling bag. And the bigger backpack part of the same collection was I think a thousand euros. If you can afford this stuff, please adopt me. This might be firmly out of reach for us mere mortals, but definitely something to put on the grails list because you're gonna be the envy of all your techwear pals if you somehow manage to pick up some of this stuff. Let's go back to the realm of normality now with the Rush Moab Six Sling. I do normally like to include something from a tactical or military brand in this list because some people do like pursuing that more tactical direction as opposed to the acronym-esque futuristic ninja kind of style. Often they're not particularly fashionable brands, but it means that you get decent stuff at a decent price. This one in particular has a very square kind of look, which is quite cool, and there's webbing galore here, so if you like attaching stuff to other stuff, then this is the one to go for. It looks like you can jam quite a lot of stuff into that main compartment, and of course you can always expand that storage by adding pouches and stuff onto the webbing. This is definitely one for those tank kind of military inspired outfits. And the thick padding on that strap means you can comfortably get away with carrying heavier things than probably a lot of the other sling bags on this list. Next up, the D4 Charger Sling. There's not a massive amount of information out there on this brand because they just sell through Etsy. It's also kind of on the cusp of being a messenger bag because this thing is pretty big. However, it is a very different shape to a standard messenger bag. It sits quite close and quite central to the body as is common on these sling bags and it has a stabilizing strap as well. It looks like there's quite a lot of carrying potential here, particularly with that little internal strap, which looks tight enough that you can secure a few different bits to it. It comes in at just over £70, which I think is just under $100, so quite a nice price point, particularly when you look at that extended size and the unusual shape as well. I don't think I know anyone that's picked anything up from this brand, so if you've got any experiences with them, then please do stick them down there in the comments, because I'd like to find out. And finally, coming in at number nine, the Air Sling Bag 2. This one, again, is kind of pushing the boundaries a little bit of exactly what a sling bag is, partly because of its size and partly the backpack-esque shape. However, the way it attaches, it is very much a sling bag as opposed to a backpack. It does only go over one shoulder. This is designed as a gym bag, so it means that carrying capacity is quite good, big enough to store a full outfit. And there's even a separate pocket which is ventilated to keep your shoes safe and separate from everything else. 
The central zip and the opening mechanism are pretty unusual for something that from a distance might look like an ordinary backpack. The sizing and the organizational options here say to me not just going to the gym, as is the intended function of this bag, but I think if you're going somewhere for a single night, staying over at someone's house or something, this could be pretty cool for that because then you can change your shoes the next day, you can get a whole nother outfit in there, and that's perfect when you've got to flex on people 24-7. So there's lots of different choices here. I wanted to explore the different sizes and shapes available here as much as possible so you guys can really see what sort of style or what kind of look you would prefer to go for if you are after this kind of bag. And of course, a massive variety in the prices as well. So hopefully something here took your fancy. Do let me know what your favorite one was down in the comments, whether that's the Gorilla Group one with its unique and really cool aesthetic, uh, Sacra coming in with the value stuff, Alpha Matif with the very unique sizing and styling, or that Neman Masterpiece one for the true premium bag experience. Pretty much everyone here is a winner. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a like. I super appreciate it. And that's everything. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Shout out to Dime Out. I am definitely experiencing that right now, particularly if I end up buying that other Y3 bag in this video. And shout out to Rahil and Jan. Call me later. If you enjoyed this video, you want to catch some more, there's going to be links going up there, of course, as always, sometimes. And if you haven't subscribed yet, but you like this video a little bit, then maybe you should click on that thing over there and then you can do that and then you catch the next video as soon as it's up.